It's not just a traditional material, it is a timeless material that can be used for modern building and for creating a beautiful environment. Well, it's simply a natural product, something that we've been given and it's always here. It's very important, I think, for people coming into the town to recognise what a big part Slate played in our in our history. Slate was discovered in the hills in early 1840 by a landowner, Edward Loud. The local Cornish people were familiar with slate as a building material, particularly for roofing. There were individuals who took up smaller quarries such as Martins and Bastions and worked them for a varying number of years. It was a pretty marginal industry to be in at different periods of time but there were boom periods where the demand was very high, where the slate being taken out was a very good quality and they were able to ship very large quantities of roofing slate to markets in Sydney and Melbourne. We have people still around who can work slate in the old way and are very skillful at producing specialised items such as the bird baths that you might see around in some of the gardens that are quite contemporary. Yeah, we always used an excavator after a blast. When the stone was brought down we'd use the excavator and chain and chain out blocks and um, bring the blocks down here either on, the, um, on a truck or just pushed over the edge. And it's a very nice spot to work, one of the best. Slate comes in a variety of colours and textures. The slate that's characteristic of Wollonga is easily laminated into very fine widths which was very suitable for roofing slate and that in particular was the, the big seller for the Wollonga slate quarries. It was put to all sorts of purposes apart from the obvious flagging and roofing. It was also used for fencing, for slate water troughs and vats and tanks. It was used artistically for headstones and other decorative purposes such as mantelpieces. Slate is a very beautiful product and there are a number of architects who've used it to good effect in landscaping and in construction, making feature walls. I think it would be great to see more use of it for that local industry to continue. I think it is an underappreciated resource that we have here and it would be a shame if we lost that and those people who have those skills and that knowledge of our history were forgotten. I think that's important to keep alive and we're doing what we can to remind people of just how important it was in our past.